The nation is stunned by the disappearance of the submarine Afray, which failed to surface after leaving Portsmouth Harbour for diving operations in the Channel. Gaumont British News brings to the screen a factual report of this tragic disaster. This was her mapped route, and this is where she made her last dive. The ill-fated submarine should have sent out a surfacing signal next morning, but failed to do so. When the signal was not received, search ships immediately rushed to the diving area. Among them were the American destroyers Perry and Ellison, taking part in an international errand of mercy. Also searching were submarines, whose crews knew only too well the trials of men trapped 40 fathoms deep. Overhead, too, the eyes of the fleet, naval aircraft, joined coastal command and helicopters in seeking for some sign which could give the answer to the mystery. A radar ship, HMS Boxer, became the focal center of the search, as the first job was to discover the whereabouts of the missing submarine. Marker boys were ready for immediate use. Once found, vessels equipped with lifting gear could speedily bring her to the surface. Meanwhile, trained eyes scanned the area for the submarine's marker boy. A ray of hope, a ship circle a smoke marker dropped by a Lancaster aircraft to indicate a prey's possible position. And hour by hour, divers of HMS Reclaim stood by, ready to make an immediate descent. Hopes ran high as HMS Starling lowered a boat to investigate an object floating on the surface but they were quickly dispelled when it turned out to be only a floating box. After the long hours of ceaseless vigil, fresh personnel were taken aboard to ensure the highest concentration in manning the delicate search equipment. Then came the minesweepers, patiently traversing the diving area in a further attempt to find the stricken submarine. But alas, the chances of saving the gallant crew of the fray grew less and less. And as the last day of hope draws to a close, let us pay undying tribute to the men of the Royal Navy, whose faithful service and sacrifice places us forever in their debt.